Welcome to this QuickBooks desktop tutorial, how to transfer funds between accounts. My name is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University. And the big problem here is people will incorrectly record transfers between accounts. And this is transferring money between accounts. And what ends up happening, huge mistakes, they duplicate income. Okay, and then they get to the end of the year and they pay tax on more income than they need to. So we're going to get into that. I'm going to show you how that error happens and I'm going to show you two ways to transfer funds between accounts in QuickBooks and the way to do it correctly. First, what I'd like you to do, go ahead and subscribe to my channel to stay updated, uh, to get alerts about new videos. I'm coming out with new, easy to understand QuickBooks training all the time. And second, like this video, it helps spread the word. Uh, and that way we, I can help train as many business owners, as many accountants, bookkeepers as possible. Okay. So the big mistake that happens here in QuickBooks is when people go to transfer funds. And this, what I'm talking about is you're just transferring funds, uh, money from a savings account to a checking or a checking to a savings or a line of credit. You know, like you may borrow the money, line of credit, and put it into your checking account. And typically what happens is uh, people will go to banking, make deposits. Okay. So let's say that you transfer money from your savings to your checking. You're recording this in QuickBooks and you go to banking, make deposits. Because in theory, you made a deposit into your checking account. Well, you're depositing to checking, but you have to put this received from and from account, and a lot of times people will just add it to income uh, or something like that. And what, what that does then is it doesn't take it out of the savings and put it into checking, but what it does is it duplicates revenue. I see this problem all the time, okay? So you don't wanna go to the make deposit screen. So I'm gonna talk about two different ways uh, to do this. One is simple very simple way to transfer funds and it's the way I recommend and the other one's a little bit more advanced and sometimes people will use this more advanced technique so first of all I'm going to talk about the simple way all right the simple way is uh, you've got um, an option up here under the banking drop down menu so if I go to banking I go to transfer funds okay very easy very easy to do you're going to see here you've got the date to put in you've got the class so if for some reason you are class tracking you put in the class then you're going to say transfer funds from okay so if this is coming from the savings account and we're putting it to the checking we would choose savings if it's coming from a line of credit which is down here under the liabilities uh, there's no line of credit in this sample company file, but if it's transferring from a loan or a line of credit, you would choose this account as the transfer funds from. Now, next, let me go ahead and change this to savings up here. You want to transfer funds to, okay? So this is where we're putting the money. This is going to be the checking account. Now, if you're making a transfer from the checking to the line of credit online, uh, you would choose transfer funds from checking, transfer funds to the line of credit. Okay, it's as simple as that. Now, what this is doing behind the scenes is, uh, is taking money out of the savings account. So it's reducing the savings account balance and increasing the checking account balance. And that way, all you've done is move it between accounts. There is no income. There is no expense. It's simply moving money from one category to another category okay so we're going to put in the amount here we're going to say it's 500 bucks and we're going to save and close you can of course put in a funds transfer or a memo here that says something other than funds transfer totally up to you okay so i'm going to save and close all right so if we go back to the chart of accounts and i choose my savings account you're going to see that $500 came out. And if I go over here to the checking account, we're going to see that $500 came in. Simple transfer of money. Okay, that's the recommended way to do it. Now, if you're a little bit more advanced in QuickBooks, there is another way to do that. Uh, and that's what I'm going to show you. But first, please like this video if it's helpful for you. Uh, you know, I'd love to spread the word to other business owners, other accounts to make sure they're using QuickBooks correctly. Because when you use QuickBooks correctly, you get good financial statements. And with good financial statements, you can make good business decisions. 
Okay. Also, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, I'm coming out with great QuickBooks training all the time. And uh, it's very simple, very easy to understand. And the best part is when you leave a comment or question, I answer your questions in the comments. Okay. Now let's get to the more advanced technique. Okay. You can see this here. This is called a check register. All right. So the check register is recording all the different things that happen in this checking account. Let me give you an example. One of over here for checking, it's got a lot more transactions you can see. And so this just records just like the old style checkbook. Uh, when you, when you hand wrote checks and you wrote down in the check register, what it was for the check number, who it was to, et cetera. Uh, this is just that except electronic. Okay. So we'll go back to the easy one here, the checking, but let's say we're going to move uh, $200 from our checking account over to our savings account. You can go directly to the check register here, like I'm in now. And the way I got there was going to the chart of accounts and then just double clicking on checking. Okay. So in this case, what you're going to do here is you're going to see the date defaults to today's date. So you put the date now number. You don't need to put a number. You can leave that blank or you can put transfer. You can put, uh, you know, whatever you'd like to put in there, you can enter there. Payee is going to be blank. You're going to leave that blank and under payment, you're going to put $200. Let's tab over and it comes to the account. Okay. So the account in this situation, instead of an expense account is going to be the savings account. Okay. And if we want to type in funds transfer, we can do that here and it recorded as I tabbed over. So now you can see that it reduced this account by $200. And if I go over to my savings account, you'll see it increased it by $200. Okay. So that's another very simple way you can record a transfer in QuickBooks, but it does get a little bit more advanced than simply going to the banking drop down menu and hitting transfer funds. This is the preferred way to do it right here because it is laid out in a form and it's very easy and simple to follow. Okay. Any comments, any questions, feel free to leave those below. I try to answer every single question that people ask. Uh, the shorter the typing, the better, uh, as those are much simpler to answer. But please feel free to leave those below. Also like the video again. Uh, if the video was helpful, please like it, share it with others, and be sure to subscribe to my channel.